excuse me. We have made a decision among the mothers. To send the children back to Karaolis now will show weakness. The British will see that we are not serious people aboard this ship. It does not matter what the British think. I cannot take the responsibility for letting children starve to death. We will take the responsibility. We will not send them back, and we will not go back with them. I am sorry, Mrs. Frankel. The children must go back. You can go back if you want to with them. So that's a Haganah order. You're an important man, Mr. Ari Ben Kalen, but you know nothing. Look at these babies of mine. Born behind barbed wire. For the first time, they don't have to look out through a fence like little animals. They are free now, and nobody, no Englishman, no Haganah, will ever lock them up again. Look at Mrs. Hirschhorn here. Hers will be the first. When she has no more milk to give, tell him. I will not take him back to Karaolis. He'll go to Palestine with me. Or right here on the ship, we will die together. I will not take him back. I will not take him back. When are you going to stop this thing and let them go? Unfortunately, I can't answer that. The affair is entirely in the hands of London. But you don't like what's going on. You know how wrong it is. Why don't you say so? Why don't you make a public statement about it? I can't do that, Kitty. I'm a soldier. I know you're a soldier. But you're also a Jew. And all those people out there are Jews, too. I don't like to disappoint you, Kitty, but I'm not in any degree a Jew. But I thought... I know the rumor. Apparently, there had to be some explanation for my attitude towards this unpleasant business. Oh, I'm sorry for flying off like that. I... You're getting to be quite a Zionist. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you did fly off. You asked how I, as a Jew, could let this happen to other Jews. Now I find myself asking, how can any man let it happen? Jew, Gentile, Buddhist, Mohammedan. No matter what he is. Signal the air base. I'm flying to London within the hour. You're an interesting woman, Mrs. Fremont. Sutherland won't let one member of the press come aboard, and you shuttle back and forth like a carrier pigeon. I know you suspect me, and I know nothing I say can make you trust me. But I wanted to tell you that General Sutherland has left for London. He understands your situation, and he is trying to help. Thanks. Is that all? I heard of Dr. Odenheim's death. I'm a trained nurse, and I worked with him at Karaolis. If I can be useful, I'd be glad to stay aboard. Without food? I think I can go without food as long as you. I'm glad to have you on board, Mrs. Fremont. Glad to be aboard, Mr. Ben Gaynor. Whatever move you make, you were dead ten minutes ago. I ask for an opinion from Romania. Do you think the British will give in? We'll give in first. These schlep meals. Maybe they think they've been hungry once in a while. They don't even begin to know what real starvation is. 
Dove, if you hate these people so much, why do you want to go to Palestine with them? Because their Jews fight instead of talk. When I get there, I'm going to join the Irgun. They know how to do it. I'm going to blow up every British installation I can find. I'm going to kill Englishmen. Kill and kill and kill them. Till they won't be any more, that's all. The British aren't all bad, dog. Mm, they're rotten, a whole bunch of them. The British, all the Russians, all the Poles and all. Not the Danes when I was. No, the Danes too, don't tell me. That's not true. The Hansons were Christians and they adopted me. One exception, one little exception. That proves something. There are lots of exceptions. You used to listen to me for a minute, Dolph. When the Nazis marched into Denmark, they ordered every Jew to wear a yellow armband with the Star of David on it. And That's when the they... worst thing that can happen to a Jew? I said, listen, you don't know what you're talking about. And the next morning, when every Jew in Denmark had to wear his armband, King Christian came out of Amalienburg Palace for his morning ride. And do you know something? He wore the Star of David on his arm. But why should... And do you know something else? By afternoon... Everybody was wearing stars of David. The Jews and the Danes. And, well, just everybody. Why do they do that? If you... If you don't just know why they did it, Dolph, well, maybe that's what's wrong with you. Olympia, I want to talk to them. Yes, sir. Control headquarters calling the Olympia. Control headquarters to Olympia. Do you hear me? This is the Exodus. Stand by for Major Caldwell. You're no longer interested in your last look, Mr. Lakovich. We pause for politics. General Sutherland, at his own request, has been relieved of his duties on Cyprus. I have just received a message from the Colonial Office. I quote, His Majesty's government... Having no desire to witness needless suffering, grants permission for the Olympia to sail to Palestine and to disembark its passengers at the port of Haifa. That is all. Ah!